Hello everyone. In, welcome to the AutoCAD lecture series by 360 Fiber 12 Consultancy Services. In this video, I am going to tell about the primary draw commands. Okay, let us go. The primary or draw commands can be used to create new objects such as lines and circles or rectangular shapes, any one. A good understanding of the draw commands is fundamental to the efficient use of AutoCAD. So what does it mean? If we have the grip on draw commands, we can do anything in this. So what are the commands in the draw, draw commands? Line command, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, polygon are the draw commands in AutoCAD. So what are the shortcuts for these? For line, we have to type as L enter. For polyline, PLI enter or PL enter. For circle, we have to type this C enter. And for arc, we have to type this A enter. And for rectangle, REC enter. For polygon, POL enter. I have already explained this polyline, line, circle and arc commands. So, in this video, I am going to explain the de in detailing about the Rectangle, circle and hatch. So, let us do. Okay. Here you can see in ribbon area, draw, draw palette or the draw tab. We will be getting here the draw commands. So, if you want line, simply click L and the okay. Enter. We will be getting the command active. Click escape. So now in this video we are going to see the rectangular command and polygon command and hatch. How to use hatch. Okay. So for rectangle we have to use the shortcut P S R E C. Enter. So first we have to specify the corner point. So let us take. I am taking origin as a first corner point, 0, 0. Okay. So, first corner point has been specified. Now, we have to specify the other corner point. Let us take it as 5, comma, comma 5, enter. So, this one is the our required rectangle. So, in this rectangle command, we will be having both polygon and rectangle. Now, we have seen the rectangle. So, let us take REC enter. So, simply we can click here and drag. Now, we can click anywhere we want. So, I am clicking here. This, this is my re required rectangle. And now, so let us take the polygon. Again in polygon, we will be having two types. I will say in this video. So let, first we have to enter it is specific, it is instructing us to enter number of sides we want. Okay. I want five, five number of sides. And we have to specify the center of the polygon. Let us take 0, 0 as a center. 0, 0, enter. So first we have to Select the option as inscribed in a circle or a circumscribed about a circle. First we take inscribed in a circle. Next I will explain the what is circumscribed about circle. Let us click here. See how our center point is the origin. So we have to specify the radius. So let us take the radius it has. So 
let us take radius 5 only. Okay. You can see here. 5. So let us take a circle command. Let us choose center and radius. Specify this one is the our center point. From this we have to draw a 5. We have taken the polygon radius also 5. Okay, we have found this one. Let us take another polygon. Polygon. So let us specify the uh, number of sides 5. Enter. Specify here. So firstly we have taken the inscribed in a circle. Now we have to I am taking the circumscribed about circle. So specify the radius. Okay, radius let us take as 4. 5 let us take. Okay. We have selected the circumscribed about a circle. So let us take a circle with radius. So this from we are choosing the same center for both polygon and circle. So as we have given the radius per polygon as 5, let us give, also give the circle as 5 radius. So you can see the change here, changes between this. Both polygons are same but one is inscribed means inside the circle we have formed that polygon and this one circumscribed means outer the surface of the circle we have formed the polygon. Differences between these are this is only. So let us take the this one is the ellipse one. So let us take first one center. So first we have to specify the center and now we have to specify the end point. Let us take 6 centimeters. So in which direction we want? Specify the distance to the other axis. Okay, this three x. This one is the ellipse. And next another one axis end. So first we have to provide provide axis and then end. Okay. Let us specify. Axis is the point. So this one is the. Now we have to specify the other point of the end point of the axis. Just click here. Now specify the distance to the other axis. So let us provide 12. This one is the required ellipse. Okay. Now we will be seeing the elliptical arc. Means arc which is in shape of an ellipse. So that is called the elliptical arc. So first specify the axis endpoint. Okay. And now we have to specify the another endpoint. Okay, and so sign here. Specify distance of the axis. This four. And now we have to specify the angle. Let us take 30 as angle. So specify the end angle. Oh, let us specify 60. So this one is our elliptical arc. By this we can draw any one like elliptical arc or ellipse or polygon or rectangle. I hope these are clear for all. For you all and now we go for the hatch okay in this we in next video i will be explaining about the hatch thank you for watching